Right, one of the questions we get asked after we have customised a pair of shoes, as we've done here on these Paul Smith shoes, as you can see, Paul Smith, we have given them, we've taken off all the sort of tan dye that they had, and we've given them this sort of black look on the back that then blends in here to this wooden effect that the shoes have got. People often ask, can you use standard shoe polish to protect and preserve your shoes after that? if we don't want to buy products from LRC to do this. Absolutely, yes you can. I'm going to give you a demonstration. These were freshly done only a few days ago, so they're still very, very delicate, but I want to give you a demonstration as to exactly how good the LRC shoe dyes and restorer products are and the rawhide dyes are. They're absolutely phenomenal. They're extremely strong. They're very hard wearing, they're very durable, and I'm going to show you that with this particular product here that I'm going to use, which is just a neutral, shoe polish. So this is obviously just an ordinary neutral product. Um, we're going to open that up and we're just going to get some of that on the um, brush and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So let's just put a little bit of that on the brush. I'll show you it on the brush. As you can see, we've got some of that on the brush and we're just going to simply brush that over the surface like so. You can see it there going on, brushing it all the way over, over the whole shoe, getting it brushed on, Get some more on there. Don't be frightened to put it on there. It's not going to create any problems to the shoe at all. So that's the first shoe done. Let's get the next shoe done with some cream on it, some shoe polish on there. You can see there's plenty of shoe polish going on there onto the shoe. We're not going to be frightened about putting this on. And you can see there that that's gone on. Just going to leave them for a few seconds. You don't need to leave them for very long. Um, with shoe, you know, with these sort of natural, they're not really what I call natural, but with these or neutral shoe polish um, from this. I'm not quite sure who the manufacturer is of this, to be fair. Um, doesn't really say. Um, it's just one of these cheap sort of um, shoe polishes that you get in these sort of kits that you can buy that are just a few pounds each. So I mean, it's not like a fantastic good, you know, I presume it's good quality, but I don't know how good a quality is, but it's not some of the sort of, what well, of course, really superior um, shoe polishing products. But again, another, buck, you know, brush, just simply buff off. And as you can see, it's giving it a really nice shine. And you can clearly see there, I'll leave the other one with the shoe polish on it for a little bit longer. Than, we would, than you would do normally. You can leave it on for as long as you want. You can leave it on for five, 10 minutes if you needed to. This smells sort of quite petrochemically, this particular one. So if anything's gonna do any, any damage, it's gonna be that sort of shoe polish that's gonna do it. But as you can clearly see there, um, it's absolutely fantastic. No damage to it whatsoever. Really nice luster to it. Bringing back that luster. Again, just give it a good buff. You know, buff the shoe up. And that's it. So you can sort of see what it's like. Let's go back to the second shoe. We'll start with the back. The front is the more delicate, so I'm going to start with the back, where it's just pure black. And then we can go to the front. I want to leave the front for as long as I can, just to prove to you how good a quality the shoe dyes, the rawhide dyes are from LRC, that they will not affect your shoes that are painted or customised with these pure dyes and these natural rawhide dyes or the LRC Shoe Restorer Creams. And again, you can see there, it looks absolutely fantastic. And no problems whatsoever with using a standard shoe polish on your customized shoes by LRC. Head on over to the website, leatherrepaircompany.com.